In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a piece of old burnt parchment paper. So first of all, we need a new canvas, so go to File, New, and you can choose whatever size you'd like. I'm going to do 800 by 600. Make sure that the background is set to transparent. Click OK. Okay, what we want to do now is we want to fill the background with black. So click on your foreground color, choose black from your color picker, and then use your paintbrush tool to fill the background with black. Now go up and select your marquee tool and we're going to draw our sheet of paper now. And you want to leave a border on here because we're going to have a black background for this. So leave a border uh, about that size, smaller if you like, larger if you like. It doesn't have to be perfect. It also doesn't need to be centered. Um, it is an old piece of paper so it can be slightly irregular. And what we're going to do now is we are going to fill this with white. Oops. Try that one more time. Make sure you choose your paint bucket tool and then fill that with white. And go ahead and do a control D so you don't have anything selected at this point. Now we're going to get our rough edges so our paper looks torn. So to do that, go to filter and then brush strokes and then spatter. And then for your spray radius, you want to choose something um, probably between 15 and 25. Um, you're looking for nice torn edges now that aren't too pixelated, but they obviously want to be torn. I like to use 16. And then for smoothness, um, choose something like 7 to 12. I'm going to change to 10 right now. And you're looking for a nice torn edge. And we're going to make this look even better later. So click on OK. And now you have your torn edge. Now you're going to select your magic wand. And you want to set your tolerance pretty low. I like mine set to 5. And make sure that you have these two options checked. Then go in and select your white area. And actually what you're going to do now is you're going to go to select and then inverse and then press your delete key and that's going to take the black away. Um, so all that you're left with now is your torn piece of paper. Okay, and we're going to do control D on our keyboard to deselect that. Now go over to your layer and we want to rename this layer and I'm going to rename it paper. And then we're going to create a new layer and you're going to rename that background. And go ahead and move the background layer. Just click and drag where it's underneath your paper layer. Now for your background um, you can choose whatever color you like. I'm going to choose black. I think that looks really good with this. Use your paint bucket tool and then simply fill the background. Um, looks very similar the way it did before, but we can um, do some customizing to it. So go ahead and select your paper layer. Then go back to your magic wand tool. Keep those same settings. Click on your white area because we want to apply these changes just to our torn paper area. Now click on your foreground color and you want to choose a color of parchment paper. Choose a light to medium color and this is really whatever color you think looks good. I'm going to go ahead and stick with D4CC87 for mine. Click OK. And then your background color, click on your eyedropper tool to get that color back. And then go just a little bit darker here and then click on OK. And so you have a lighter color as the foreground and a darker color for your background color. And you can go back and modify those at the end if you end up not being happy. It's a little bit hard to tell here how it's going to look all together. OK, so now we're going to go up to Filter and we're going to go to Render and Clouds. And that's going to get our base of our parchment paper. Now to make this look even more like parchment paper, I'm going to go to Filter and then texture and then grain 
and for your intensity you want to choose a pretty low intensity if you get real high it's not going to look like parchment paper anymore I am going to go with four and then for contrast set that at 50 percent and then for grain type you want to choose contrasty um, that's what looks the best with this click on OK and now you have your color of your parchment paper now you can see um, a little bit more the color that it's going to be and I can see here that I'm not too happy with how light it looks so instead of going back and redoing that I'm gonna actually just add a color overlay so I'm gonna double click on this and then I'm gonna click on color overlay and for my color I'm gonna choose normal here and then for my blend mode I'm going to actually go up and choose that darker color just a base to start with and I'm going to make everything a little bit darker click OK and then for your opacity this is where you want to bring it down and you can see over here in my parchment paper how I'm making that just a bit darker but I'm still getting that parchment paper look. I could even go a little bit more darker. And then that way I can lower the opacity even more. Okay, click on OK. And I'm really happy with that parchment paper look. So now we got um, one last layer that we need to develop and that's our burn layer. So I'm going to create a new layer down here keep that up at the top and we're going to name this burn okay so now we want to go and we want to change our color to a darker brown and you want to start um, a medium kind of brown color something that's darker than what you already have for sure though click OK then we want to click on our paintbrush. We're going to choose a pretty big paintbrush here. I'm going to go with 100. Um, hardness, keep it zero. You want it to be a soft brush. You can mess with whatever other settings that you want to, um, but I like to um, have just kind of the regular big soft brush here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go around the edges, and remember, you want to be a regular here. These are creating your burnt edges. You do not need to be perfect here. And if you feel you need to go back, then just go back a little bit. And that's fine because obviously things don't burn even, so we want to get that looking pretty irregular. So what you want to do now is we want to choose an even darker color. We want to go a step darker and we want to change our brush. I'm going to change it to 65 so it's a little bit smaller and I'm going to go across here and I'm going to add this even darker edge. Okay and then one more step I'm going to turn and I'm going to get a very dark brown. You can even go black if you want here. And I'm going to go to the soft 45 brush. And then I'm going to go and not all over, but just in some parts, I'm going to add this final brush to make some of those edges look really burnt. And then do my control D and that will deselect everything and um, if you'd like you can lighten up that background so you can see your edges better and, but that's how you get a old burnt parchment paper in Photoshop